This is H2O2 from H2O. Today we're going to discuss etching a PC board made of copper. Copper is the pretty much the only one that I know that uh, they make PC boards out of. And I know of two etchants that uh, work very well. Um, the one I have here, the green solution, is uh, acid copper 2. Uh, it's a, supposedly a regenerative pro uh, acid, and I'm testing it out to see if it really uh, stands up to what they say it does. I currently have a uh, bubbler installed uh, that causes uh, agitation and supposedly regenerates the solution by adding oxygen. Uh, just a small uh, check valve there going over to a standard uh, uh, fish pump. Things you're going to need, an etching tank, a solution for rinsing your uh, first rinse of your board, and something to grab a hold of your board. Um, lots of water. I've got about two and a half gallons here. This is for safety. Um, if anything splashes on me, I can dunk it in there. I can put my head in there if I get it in my eyes. The starter consists of one part hydrochloric acid and two parts hydrogen peroxide. So at this point, it's been sitting for about three days, um, but I haven't really etched much in it. So at this point, there's quite a bit of hydrochloric acid still in there, enough to make me very cautious. Um, not that the uh, the acid copper 2 isn't dangerous, it's toxic, uh, but it is uh, a slower etchant. So, let's get started. Okay, first off, with lots of caution, open the jar. Now this lid's a little off balance, so I want to keep control of it. tends to etch a little slower on the bottom, so I'll be turning it several times. The, the container is still open at the top. You gotta let the air uh, escape. And that's the beginning. Okay, it's been <clears throat> almost eight minutes. So it's difficult to get close enough to get a really good close up, but this is the back side of the board. And you can see that it's etching, but it's not quite there. So let me flip it over. Be very careful, no splashing. <clears throat> Still got plenty of copper on it. It's a few darker spots. But I would say it's not ready yet. Okay, we're coming on 14 minutes now. You really can't see inside too well. Looks thinner. Let's pull it out and take a look. Looks like the light's getting through the metal a little better. It's a lot lighter. All right, well, it's 21 minutes in. And it's, it's etching, but it seems to be very slow. Now my second batch, I etched my first one very fast. The second run on version uh, 2.0.0 actually stalled on me at 45 minutes total time. I had to re-energize it with a little hydrogen peroxide. And 
I'm thinking I may try that. It doesn't take much. But this bubble has been running for several hours, even before I started. So, that's 21 minutes. <clears throat> 42 minutes. Look at that. So it is working. It's just slower than I thought it should be. But I don't mind. A slow etch is a good etch. It means that the traces will be wider. And the etch won't be eating up underneath them as they etch down. They also etch outward. But outward is not good. All right, 56 minutes. I see just a couple spots. Looks really good. Even the mask is holding good. All right, one hour, 14 minutes. It's almost there. I can just barely see. In fact, I'm going to drop it in the water solution. I'm going to stop the etching process. And I'm going to handle it and take a peek at it. It may be done. I'll check right back in with you. All right. Total time, 1 hour 14 minutes. I was able to scrape with a pin needle uh, that final little bit. I think it was caused by uh, a little oxidation on the board. <clears throat> the board is very old, probably 15 years. I tried to prep the surface as best I could with sandpaper and cleaning it. So, there you have it. An etched board. And the next thing we'll do is go over a cleaning process to remove the uh, toner. And then verification of the board. And now I'm going to cover removing the masking. I use a non-acetone fingernail polish remover. A couple other things to notice is that where I touched up with the Sharpie pen, it's still there. It hasn't moved. Even the edge here is pretty much there. Little dots and stuff I touched up. So that Sharpie pen really works. Take a paper towel, dip it in your polish remover, spread it on there. Alright, there you have it. That's H2O2 PWM version 2.0.0. One.